you always wanted to do it with. Hey, bud. <laughs> Let's party. They're the students of Ridgemont High. <laughs> Brad Hamilton, the fast food king. I shall serve no fries before their time. It says 100% guaranteed, you moron. Mister, if you don't shut up, I'm going to kick 100% of your ass. Charles Jefferson, <laughs> a man with a mission. Oh, gnarly. Linda Barrett, not exactly the girl next door. Awesome. Totally awesome. And Jeff surfs up Spicoli. People on moods should not drive. attempting to make this dictionary for the last 20 years. And I submit that the extraordinary, the unconventional, Mr. Murray, is the solution and our salvation. The task is gigantic. And impossible. There is a we. We'll ask them to read in search of the words that we want and get them to write the word on a slip of paper. So this is the good doctor. I'm proud to make your acquaintance, sir. I cannot believe my eyes. Aye, partners, word for word. My entire life. This one. I've seen another world. Sometimes I think it was just my imagination. If I go first, I'll wait for you there. On the other side of the dark waters. Why should I be afraid to die? I belong to you. straight up that hill there. How many men do you think it's worth? How many lives? There's nowhere we can hide except in each other. Go! Go! Two desperate criminals escape from prison near the Canadian border. Some believe they perished in the woods. Hey! Yeah. Sure, if you know who these are. Caroline has found our lost priest. This is Father Brown and Father Riley. But who would believe that such a small town could make such a big mistake? You don't look a thing like your pictures. Fasting and prayer. Now, they've got a profession to fake. Bishop Nogolich points out it's his turn to say the grace. Let, let him read it. It's his turn. I don't want to get in anybody's face here. A confession to take. Father Brown's I'm sleeping with this woman. Huh? All right, and what? You're not married to her? No. You're married to someone else? To my wife. You like know about this? No. Well, what are you worried about, though? Forget about it. A woman to win. Yeah, well, you don't like the guy. What'd you go to bed with her for? For five dollars. Give us hope. You have not make her laugh. Where have you been? Feelings that make us question our beliefs. Fears that trigger our darkest emotions. It's my daughter's car. He sent my daughter in there! He sent my daughter in there! Oh, God! <laughs> a couple seconds on Saturday, she looked at me like she was preparing to never see me again. You don't think I'd have hurt her, do you? She isn't hurt, Brendan. She's dead. I loved her so much. 
I know in my soul I contributed to your death. But I don't know. Let's move! Get the motherfucker! Get one of these little motherfuckers out in the open, you waste them. Alec Roy raped Hope Percy and stabbed her 17 times. In the courtroom at a sentencing, he was smiling and chewing his gum. He is an unfeeling, perverse misfit, and it is time. You've put in a request to be the spiritual advisor to Matthew Ponsolet. This boy is to be executed in six days. Do you know what you're getting into? They are all con men. You must be very, very careful. Well, Matthew, I made it. You never done this before? No. Never been this close to a murderer before? Not that I know of. What is a nun doing in a place like this? I ain't killed nobody. I swear to God I didn't. Ponsolet claims Fatello killed both of them. <laughs> both say the other did the actual killing. Somebody's lying to somebody. Let's talk about that night. So bring you tell me, Conrad. As your friend. Everything all right? October 12th, Nikki's birthday. This is for you. Consumer Recreation Services. Call that number. Why? They make your life fun. What are you selling? It's a game. A game? Specifically tailored for each participant. There's a rose hole. John, chapter 9, verse 25. Whereas once I was blind, now I can see. Now I can see. One day, your game begins. You either love it or hate it. Are you going to spend the rest of the evening prying at that clown's mouth? Mr. Van Orton, is everything all right? Oh, so Mr. Van Orton. Different. Your teacher gave you a, a really hard book this time. What's wrong with your father? Why is he acting like a retard? He is. You're not like other daddies. I'm sorry. Daddy, I'm lucky. Nobody else's daddy ever comes to the park. No one doubts that you love your daughter. These shoes light up. But your intellectual capacity is around that of a seven-year-old. Do we get a balloon with these? Yeah. All of us? <laughs> or just her? Our concern is what happens when Lucy turns eight. I find it is not in the best interest of the child to remain in the home, and I order her detained. Why is Lucy going home with me? It's time that you get your own water. Come on, you guys. Dinner's ready. Daddy's taking a picture. See you next Sunday, Sam. Yeah, I'll see you next Sunday. My name is Sam Bick, and I consider myself a grain of sand. It says here that you're currently employed as an office furniture salesman? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. You want to know who the greatest salesman in the world is? That man right there. He sold the whole country on himself. Twice. The salesman who believes is the salesman who receives. I really believe in this desk. Remember, power is a state of mind. Everything okay at work? Everything okay at home. Look at the way they make you dress. I dress like this so I can support my family. A man doesn't give up his rights at a job. You got a right to pay your bills. Kids. Do you think you could identify the voice you heard if you heard it again? Yes. How do you happen to be up there after hours? I'm an interpreter. I left some of my things in the sound booth. I had to go back for them. And at that moment, there happened to be a couple of fellows talking about an assassination in a language that you and maybe eight other people understand. Do you think I'm making it up? What do we make of this interpreter? My opinion? A hoax. I'd rather make the mistake of believing her than the bigger one of not. The last thing we can afford is to have some foreign leader get popped on our soil. NSA, CIA, FBI, whatever you need, it's yours. Who was that in the park? It's got nothing to do with you. What are you not telling me? They saw me up there, or they could have. I don't know. I'm not sure. Someone tried to run me over this morning, I think. You think? I want you to die. Nothing's gonna happen to me. 
He loves J.C. and the excitement of being somebody that matters. We're going to be in and there so fast. Like that. Bad boys. This is a juvenile facility. That means you are not in charge of the zoo. We are. Come on, let's go. Bad boys. So, how do you like it so far? Do your time clean and you walk. Any trouble? And you could grow old in here, Jack. Clean it up. There's only one person left who believes Mick O'Brien can make it. Mick O'Brien. Oh!